All right, in this video, we're going to look at a few ways in which we can open, close, and generally navigate drawings that we have open. So to start a new drawing, we've already briefly looked at that in the previous video. Now that we've set our template by picking from this list, we can just click on this top area to start a new drawing. There's a few other ways of doing this. We could click the new icon on the quick access toolbar or we could open the application menu and click the new icon. But in this case it's easier just to click straight on the start drawing option. That puts us into a drawing to file. If we want to open a drawing, so let's go ahead and close this drawing. So application menu, close, and we will not save this particular drawing. So if we wanted to open a drawing that we've recently worked on, we can go to the recent documents list here. There's a little scroll bar we can scroll down. We see a little thumbnail preview to help us determine which drawing is the correct one. We could also click the open files option here below start drawing. We have similar options on the quick access toolbar and the application menu. So in this case I'm going to click on open files. We're going to use one of the sample files that comes with the book on the DVD. So go to this A1 first floor plan drawing. Now on the application menu under open drawings which is default here we can see that this is the drawing that's open but more conveniently we have these drawing tabs so we can see that the drawing is open. If we were to open another drawing A2 and click open now we see we have two drawing tabs. So we could switch between these two drawing tabs and if we wanted to start a new drawing we've already seen how we start a new drawing from just opening AutoCAD but if we wanted to start a new one right now while we already have drawings open we could click on this plus symbol at the end of the drawing tabs and then click start drawing because we've already specified our template. So now that we have one new drawing open and two other drawings we can easily switch between them. If we hover over a tab we see that this drawing has one model space and two layout spaces. I can click directly on model space and that will put me into model space. We also see those tabs in the lower left for this particular drawing. The one model space and this drawing happens to have two layout spaces. One thing we can do in a drawing is spin our wheel and AutoCAD will zoom in. If we spin it the other way it'll zoom out. It's good to know that wherever your cursor is is the area that AutoCAD zooms into. So you notice putting my cursor over this bathroom number 105, that's the area that stays in focus on the screen. Whereas the fireplace on the far right went off the screen. If I wanted to zoom in on the fireplace, I would move my cursor over that area on the drawing and scroll on the wheel on my mouse. And we can see that the bathroom that we had previously focused in on has now disappeared. So that's important to know. Another thing that's important to know is that if we hold down the wheel button on the mouse, that activates pan. This is a feature that allows us to change the part of the drawing that we're looking at when we're zoomed in and not seeing the entire drawing. This is not actually moving the drawing, it's just moving the part of the drawing that we are currently looking at. If you double click on the wheel button, it'll zoom extents like we just saw here. If we want to close a drawing, we can simply click the X on that drawings tab. And in this case we don't want to save it, so I'm going to select no. Another option is to right click and then there's close all or close the current drawing. We could even select save as. And if we save this drawing to a new location, as soon as we've done that, we are now in the drawing in the new location. The drawing that we had originally opened is no longer open. We are now in the new drawing. If we make changes to this drawing, 
we can see that a little asterisk shows up on the drawing tab to let us know that this file has been changed. So if we hit the save icon on the quick access toolbar, we can see that that little icon goes away, that little asterisk. But as soon as another change happens, which can happen just by panning or changing your location on the drawing, that little asterisk will come back right away. Another thing that's good to know about is that when we save, AutoCAD makes a backup of that file as it was on the hard drive just before we saved. So this BAK file is a backup, the previous saved version of the current DWG file. So if something ever happens to your DWG file, it gets corrupted by a power surge during writing to the hard drive or something else, you can actually delete this file and rename the BAK file. Or perhaps you made some changes to the DWG that you want to revert back to a previous version. Now this BAK is literally just going to be the save before, so if you close out of a drawing and you save two times before you do it, both drawings are going to be exactly the same. These DWL files indicate that the drawing is locked, and that's because we currently have the drawing open. This is one way AutoCAD checks to make sure somebody else isn't in a drawing that you're about to open. So it's good to know about the BAK files. Those can be deleted if you're running out of space on your flash drive, for example. If you're backing up your drawings, which you should be, from your hard drive to a flash drive or to some cloud storage like Dropbox, if that space is getting full, it's usually safe to delete the BAK files as long as you're sure the DWG files are in good condition. So that wraps up this Getting Started AutoCAD video.